Doping control is an essential part of anti-doping programs to promote and protect the integrity of sport and the health of athletes. Testing is carried out in accordance with the World Anti-Doping Code and a series of international standards. Hi, I am a doping control officer, also known as a DCO. I play a major role in protecting your rights in the doping control process, which consists of five phases. Athlete selection, athlete notification, sample collection, sample analysis, and results management. How can you be selected for testing? Testing can be conducted in two situations, in competition and out of competition. For in competition testing, the selection may occur in a number of ways, including by random selection, based on finishing position, or by being targeted for a particular reason. For out of competition testing, you may be tested anytime, anywhere, with no advance notice. If you have been identified in a registered testing pool, you will be required to provide whereabouts information. You may be tested at home, at your training location, or other relevant locations. How will you be notified? The notification process is the same for both in and out of competition testing. If you are selected for testing, I will show you my DCO accreditation to demonstrate that I am authorized to conduct testing. I will also explain your rights and responsibilities in the doping control process and ask you to sign a form. Once you have been notified, you must report immediately to the doping control station. You may request a delay for a valid reason, such as you are taking part in a medal ceremony, you must attend a press conference, you require medical treatment. Upon notification, a DCO or chaperone will stay at your side at all times until the testing process has been completed. What is the sample collection process? During this process, you also have specific rights, such as having a representative with you, as well as certain responsibilities. I will first ask you for a valid photo ID to confirm your identity. You will be asked to provide one or more urine samples and or blood samples. When you are ready to provide a urine sample, a doping control official of the same gender as you will witness the passing of the sample and will stay with you until you provide a sample that meets all requirements. You will then be asked to divide the urine sample into B and A bottles and then seal them. Throughout the process, you will be the only one to handle the sample collection equipment, unless you require assistance. Finally, you will be asked to review and sign the doping control form. The samples and a copy of the form that does not disclose your identity will be sent to a WADA accredited laboratory, while the other copies will go to the relevant anti-doping organizations. A copy of the form will also be provided to you. How are the samples analyzed? Once your A sample arrives at the laboratory, it will be opened and analyzed. The B sample will be securely stored. Should the A sample reveal an adverse analytical finding, the B sample will be analyzed to confirm the result. How are the results managed? The lab will report the results to the anti-doping organization responsible for results management. A copy will be sent to WADA to ensure the accountability of the process. In the event of an adverse analytical finding, your rights include requesting and attending the B-sample analysis within set deadlines, a fair hearing, and the right to an appeal. As an essential deterrent, a standard doping control process across all countries helps protect the right of athletes to compete on a level playing field in the true spirit of sport.